My name's Greg West. I'm the owner of Cornell's World. We make the craziest custom reptile builds in America. I don't want to pat myself on the back, but around here we're kind of a big deal. If you want something where people are gonna look and stare, come to Cornell's World. <laughs> These builds aren't just utility grade. These are going to be front and center, and it's a conversation starter. We're a one-stop shop. The animal, the habitat, you don't need to go anywhere else. Most of my friends don't really get a part in their parents' job, but I think it's cool that I get to with what my dad does. If he's tightening something, I'll tighten it, or if he's cleaning, I'll help him clean up. I can't do everything, but I can do a lot of the stuff in here coming along quite nicely. Yeah, it is, it looks good. I would probably consider Lucas our rain man. I have a real passion for dart frogs. Dendrobates tinctoris, Ranamatea, Ophega pamilios, you name it, I love them all. If you first look at me, I might look lazy to some folks, but I'm highly driven to get the job done. I want to be known as the plant Picasso, if you will. Really intimidating call, kind of like a howler monkey. You know, it's like, I think it's more like, Arr! no, it's a, no, oh, it's deeper. Arr! The guys think that because I'm a woman, I'm gonna be a little weaker. So every now and then, I gotta kick their asses at something. You ready? You hungry? Besides, I unplugged Greg's sauce, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, go, go! Ah! That sucks. <laughs> the only thing more satisfying today than beating Greg is gonna be watching him enjoy his cricket lunch. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> <Jared. Don't either. laughs> hey, you can run the wires with a bunghole. <laughs> you mean the hole in the top of the... the... It's called a bunghole. N there's no way that that's what it's called. I... You wanna make a bet? No, because I've already <laughs> lost at bets already this week. <laughs> you just like saying bunghole. It's kind of funny. <laughs> my expertise is in habitat fabrication. That's where I make my bones. There's always a lot for detail, and there's always a lot of pride taken in what we do that sets us above everybody else. Oh, look at the size of this guy. Male boas are, you know, a substantial animal. You can be looking at something up to around 50, 60 pounds max size. These guys kill by constriction. They're a constrictor. I mean, it's in a name, boa constrictor. So what they'll do is they'll grab onto the prey. They'll actually coil around it to incapacitate it. And then they'll squeeze, cutting off the blood supply. And they tend to go into cardiac arrest and pass very quickly. I mean, we've always been fascinated by reptiles. The armor, the scales, the texture, the feel. I mean, they are like little dinosaurs that, that you can own. You see a beast, and that's what's magical about it. Yes! Hey! Yeah, she Perfect. got it! Yes! Yeah. That's wicked. He's got two. It awesome. works. Perfect. To be able to create something that mimics the animal's natural environment to keep it happy and healthy through its entire life, that's what I love about this job. Welcome to Planet Gertrude. Oh my gosh, look at the glowing water, that's so cool. Oh my God, I love it. I love the water. <laughs> With the waterfall coming in like that, oh, I love every bit of it. <laughs> this is amazing. Maybe it's the animal, maybe it's the build, maybe it's that decoration that we came up with, or maybe it's the fact that everything is living and breathing in there. There's so many aspects to this game. I mean, you don't have to be a reptile nerd to enjoy what you see in these builds. 